what's going on guys it's omni and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be showing you how i play rise of kingdoms on my pc now i've gotten this question a ton of times from people in my comment section people over on twitch on my live streams i've even gotten people in my alliance asking me how are you playing rise of kingdoms with a mouse and keyboard and i've held off making this video for so long because to me it almost seemed self-evident right like it's pretty straightforward and there's other videos on youtube that explain how to do this but uh, because i continue to get the question i figured it's time that i just go ahead and make a quick video explaining the process and how it's done now before i jump into it i want to talk about a couple things the first is that um it no longer matters where your rise of kingdoms account started right so back in the day um a couple months ago if you had not a rise of kingdoms account that was started on an ios device uh this would not work however lilith games has since updated rise of kingdoms to allow any account no matter where it started to be played on any other form of device so long as it is linked properly um so if you guys had tried this in the past and it didn't work because you were on ios uh go ahead and try it again it does work uh, i do primarily play this on both uh iphone and ipad but when i'm streaming and making videos i play on pc so i can confirm that this does work for ios accounts and devices and the second thing i want to address is that this should work on both pc and mac um, i personally am playing this on a pc um, but the program that we're going to be using to uh, play the game on your computer should work for mac as well uh, if it doesn't there is a workaround that i'll explain later but without further ado let's go ahead and explain how you can go ahead and play your your existing account on your pc the first thing that you actually have to do is uh, always remember to help your alliance members uh, the second thing that you have to do is go into your settings uh, and you have to click account and then you have to click link and what you're going to notice is that mine is linked to my Facebook you can choose to link it to your Google account if you prefer um, but I use Facebook often so it's easier for me to just link it to my Facebook account so that's that's what I did um, for you you're going to click on Facebook and it's going to have you log into your account and authorize uh, rise of kingdoms on your Facebook and then once that's done it's going to bring you back to the game and you should see the same screen that you see here where it says Facebook linked and then you are good to go so essentially what this does is it saves your game process progress and your city halls and everything like that to Facebook so that way Lilith games knows that if you ever log in to rise of kingdoms with the same Facebook account that you should that it should go ahead and load all of your existing progress this is good to do even if you don't plan on playing uh, the the game on PC because it's just good to have your account linked somewhere else that way if you're if anything happens to your phone or your account or anything like that um, and you end up losing access to it for whatever reason uh, at least you'll have it linked somewhere um, and hopefully that that adds like another layer of security to your progress so this is really good to do regardless but this is step number one make sure you link your account to either Facebook or Google um, for me Facebook was easier so that's what I what I went ahead and did next what you're gonna do is help your alliance because guys you really should be helping your alliance as frequently as possible then what you're gonna do is go ahead and go to bluestacks.com this is the software that I use in order to play rise of kingdoms on my computer um, it is a program called bluestacks you may have heard of it I believe it's uh, it's up to version 4 now bluestacks 4 um, and essentially what bluestacks is is it is an emulator for the Android operating system so when you download this to your computer you're going to install it uh, and once you install it you'll notice that it's essentially just an emulator uh, for an Android device so let's jump back into rise of kingdoms and I want to show you kind of what this looks like I am actually uh, on bluestacks right now so you can see here um, this is what my blue stacks looks like you can see some of the other games that I have installed uh, I have the meme the meme itself installed just to see what the hype was about um, this is also how I record my Call of Duty mobile gameplay if you've seen that footage in the past or you've seen live streams similar concept here um, but this is essentially your home screen for your phone uh, and the phone in this sense is blue stacks so what you're gonna do is you're gonna install blue stacks to your computer um, there should be, like I said, both a PC and a Mac version. Um, if there's not a Mac version, we'll talk about that in just a second. But um, for most of you, it's going to be pretty easy. You download the software and then you're going to have to go ahead and open the Play Store and you're going to essentially have to create a, a Google Play account, right? So you probably, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you probably already have a Gmail um, or a Google account or whatever. So you can just go ahead and log into that account. You can see that I'm logged in in the top right um, corner here. That's my little logo for my Google account. 
um once you're logged into the account and you have blue stacks all set up essentially it is just a new phone right so you're going to go into the app store and you're going to type in rise of kingdoms and you hit enter and then it's going to say download and you just go ahead and download rise of kingdoms wow 10 million plus download that's that's crazy so you download the game and once you hit download you're going to see it show up on your home screen here of your installed apps then you tap on the game and it's going to load rise of kingdoms now once it starts loading you're going to see the tutorial it's essentially going to show you like the opening cinematic and cutscene type of thing um you can either watch it and get to get into the actual gameplay or um you should see in the top right hand corner there should be a little button that you can click it basically will say something like do you already have a linked account or log into an existing account or something like that um so while that initial like cutscene is playing um you can go ahead into the top right corner and click that i can't show it to you because i'm already like logged into my account but you'll see what i mean it's really self-evident once you launch rise of kingdoms for the first time look in the top right corner and it'll ask you essentially if you already have an account you tap that and then it's going to bring you to the same link screen that we saw before so it's going to bring you to something uh similar to this screen here and it's going to ask you to log in and this is where you're going to log in with the same account that you linked prior so for me it was facebook so when i downloaded blue stocks i launched rise of kingdoms i went to the top right corner clicked the button then i logged in some my same facebook account and that's when it asked me hey there's an existing city hall 25 do you want to load this account i hit yes and and then it will it basically brings you into your existing city and then you have it on your computer which is what this looks like here now um there are uh, a couple of things that are going to take you getting used to um for playing rise of kingdoms on your computer uh the first is the overlay um so i'm actually going to turn it up here so if i go ahead and show you just a quick display capture um you can toggle the overlay uh at, on or off essentially however visible you want it and you can see the buttons are changing on the screen and those are corresponding to keyboard buttons so I can press like for example I can press the number three and it'll bring me to my alliance where I can go ahead and help them again you guys should be doing this all the time <laughs> however I don't actually use this overlay I don't like this overlay so I basically turn it completely off and instead of using the corresponding buttons I actually just go ahead and navigate it as if my mouse uh, were my pointer finger like I would be playing on my phone so the only the, the most important um controls that you need to know are actually on your keyboard the arrow up key will zoom in and the arrow down key will zoom out right and so this is kind of how you can zoom in and zoom out and then you can move around by clicking and holding and then dragging around so i click and i can hold and i can drag around things like that everything else should be pretty self-explanatory so if you watch um any of my live streams and you hear my keyboard clicking it's literally just me zooming in and out with my up and down arrow keys that's literally the only controls that you need on the computer um if you use WASD, you can move the camera that way, but that's way more clunky to me than just uh, clicking and flicking and dragging around, and it's just way easier that way. So that's pretty much how you're going to load up Rise of Kingdoms on your computer. Now, if you have a Mac, um, I, I have read that there is a Mac version of Bluestacks. However, if in the event that it doesn't work on your computer or um, at, at the time of you watching this, that that version is outdated or no longer exists or whatever the case is, um, you can actually do what's called boot camp your Mac and essentially what that's going to do is partition your hard, hard drive so you can load Windows on your Mac PC now this is a little bit more complicated um, if you decide to go this route I would highly recommend looking up a video on YouTube on how to boot camp your Mac essentially what you're going to need is some sort of USB stick or drive that has a fresh copy of Windows installed on it then you're gonna go ahead into your Mac and you're going to open up a piece of software that's already installed in your Mac Mac called boot camp you load that up and it's going to add kind of walk you through um, a, a tutorial on how you can partition your hard drive um, and then you go ahead and it's going to ask you hey plug in your drive with windows and you can load windows onto your mac and once you do that you reset your mac you load up the windows partition and it'll essentially be a windows computer and then you can go ahead and do the process that i talked about in this video um, just as i explained before because your mac will essentially be a windows pc at that point um so again that's a little bit more complex uh, but like i said there should be actually a mac version of blue stacks at the time of recording this so i would highly recommend you go ahead and check that out um it should exist but there is an alternative if it doesn't now the final thing i want to talk about is kind of what you should be aware of when you're when you're emulating this game uh the first thing is that you should kind of have the expectations of 
playing the game on a lower quality um even this is recommending that i play it on low i have a pretty high powered uh gaming computer and even when i even with this computer when i'm live streaming i typically have to lower the graphics for the game a little bit um, because blue stacks isn't really optimized that well at least um, in my experience it's way better than it used to be it used to be way worse i i've been using blue stacks since the original so it's a bit better now but just keep in mind it's essentially a com your computer is emulating another smaller computer um so the optimization there is a bit lacking and so while you may think oh this is you know in terms of graphics Graphics. like this is just a this is a pretty simple game right um but keep that in mind that your your computer is essentially emulating an entire phone and that phone is what's running um this game and so even though the game seems like it should be easy to run it, it may be pretty taxing on your computer so i would recommend running it um on the lowest graphics and frame rate possible just because you know it's it's most likely going to give you the best experience that way if you have a higher end computer then by all means go ahead and um increase the graphics if, if it works perfectly fine for you and the last thing i want to talk about is actually some of the advantages of playing on mouse and keyboard now in the event that you're in a war or kvk or something like that i highly re recommend playing on a phone or tablet because it's way easier to navigate the, the game uh, with pinch and zoom and double tapping and, and all the gestures that are essentially baked into the the controls of the game it's a lot harder to navigate with just one hand uh, kind of pointing out where to go so that's something to keep in mind that I think you know for for a lot of action it's better to play on a a, a touchscreen device with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about this make sure to drop them in the comment section below and I will be glad to help you guys out answering questions down there if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it does really really help out my channel a ton if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to my channel with the notifications turned on so you know the next time that i upload a new rise of kingdoms video uh, again my twitch is going to be in the links in the description below you can come and find me on twitch and even if i'm live streaming a different game um, i'll be more than happy to answer your questions for rise of kingdoms uh it's just easier because if i'm live then i can answer questions in real time rather than you having to wait for me to see your comments and reply to it sometimes the spam filter buries your comments and i don't see them until weeks later when i check the spam folder on youtube a lot of people don't even know that there's a spam folder on youtube so yeah um i would highly recommend checking out my uh, my twitch links so that way i can answer any of your questions and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace